Namaste! Welcome to my channel. I am Masha and this video is the request from my friends. In this video I will be doing side-by-side -side walkthrough of two decks of Rosetta Tarot and of Tabula Mundi Tarot by M.M. Milin. Before I even get into the decks, if you are interested in either of those decks, they are the full, uh, full size of uh, uh, Colores Arcos, the, the colored variation of Tabula Mundi is out of print at the moment, but the mini that I will be showing you today is still available. And uh, uh, the Rosetta Tarot, both sizes are still available on MM Milin's website. I will link it in the description of the video below. And if you happen to resonate or going to get any of those two tags, I would strongly suggest to get a guidebook, both guidebooks, and this video is not about the guidebooks, but I just cannot recommend them enough. They're really good, very well written, and Book of Sushet is the guidebook for Rosetta, and Book uh, M. Liber Mundi is the one for your um, Tabula Mundi Terra. Both of them, of course, are thought-based, and the request for this video came about uh, during my uh, Friday's live when we when I was showing different thought based and thought decks I have in my possession and uh, a few of my friends uh, requested for me to do a side by side of Rosetta and Tabula Mundi both of re really beautiful decks and I mean I only have one uh, well my um, Rosetta Tarot I have at a full size papyrus edition where I have a, a quite an older copy of the Rosetta mini edition which is now out of print and it used to come in a tin but now the boxes are very similar uh, so it comes in, in like that box but just only smaller for the pocket size a two-part box which I really love and when it comes to my Tabula Mundi I also have it only in a pocket version Version. I've had uh, those decks for a while and that's how it looks. So the, uh, the larger version also came in that type of looking quality, same quality box, two part box. And um, yeah, so, um, but again, it's out of print, the fuller sized uh, deck now, but I believe it should be reprinted um, uh, as it states on Mel Melin's website. So let's have a look at the comparison of the cards first and then I'll turn the camera over and I thought because the sizes, the pocket ones, both of them are, small, are kind of more alike sizes, so I will do those two side by side and then I will show you majors only of two different versions of Rosetta Tarot. Okay. Um, again, this version is out of print, the one that comes in a tin, hence it doesn't make any sense for me to measure the cards for you because the, uh, they're slightly different from, uh, from the pocket edition now that's available for both decks. So if you have a look, the size, they're, they're holographic bags and the width of those cards are, is um, five and a half centimeters with the height being... Um, 8.2 centimeters so that's the size of the pocket edition but they, they're, they're really lovely and very clear cards. And having a look at Rosetta Tarot this is the standard uh, size the box uh, both boxes of the mini and the standard ones they are the same quality just difference in the size and of course coloration because they are two different decks so this one is very sturdy good quality navy dark navy colored box with the golden symbol here and it lifts like that so they uh, it's actually like well they're quite loose so if you carry them in the back you might need to put elastic around but they're beautiful boxes they kind of feel really nice and old and very original so yeah two-part box it has this uh, set setting insert to leave the cards inside and if you have a look at the size so that's the uh, that's my papyrus edition and I have number two, uh, 204 out of 777 um, so yeah, let's compare it with more traditional tarot card size and that's my crackled back AGM RWS. So they're pretty, pretty similar in size, it's just the same width but the height is um, just slightly bit, a couple of millimeters shorter than your original, uh, original tarot size card or what we use, call them. So the width of the uh, Rosetta is seven centimeters and the height is, um, let's see, let's 
from this way um 11.7 around 11.7 centimeters so that's the size and uh, also when you order the rosetta edition you can either papyrus or your standard one you can ask mal to uh, to write your name as you see this is my name Masha, written in egyptian hieroglyphs and a bit of a golden uh, foiling here in the cards i absolutely love the papyrus edition and but we'll have a look at the papyrus edition a little bit uh, later once uh, we have a look through side by side of two minis as i flip the camera over so our tabula mundi the cards came in this velvet pouch just to hold the box secure i guess with that number sticker and we'll just have a look at the box a little bit closer so that's the box it's really beautiful beautifully made box open so white inside then you get the card with the number for your deck you can see the silver embossing here and then we have the card so you just pull to leave the cards just leave the cards here leave them here so yeah you see there how the box is put together with that setting ribbon inside and uh, if you get the um, the Rosetta Tarot, it's the same box, but of course it's a different coloration. Again, mine, um, you see, it's a tin version, but it's no longer available with the moon card on top and the back of the card. But I'm just going to say, yeah, when you order the Rosetta one, you also get a card with the number of the deck. And then you can order your name written with a Greek um, hieroglyphs and Mel Melin will do it by hand. So as you can see, I did etch my uh, Rosetta Mini in black to match the black front borders. There are the bags. So Rosetta has borderless bags. Beautiful ones. And then we have the holographic borderless bags of Tabula Mundi. It's really beautiful. Yeah, now you can see it. Beautiful, beautiful abracadabra is written there fully reversible bags so they are the full cards on the left we have tabula mundi and the right inside is rosetta so we can see in tabula mundi we have the uh, hebrew reference here and the elemental reference but we don't have the number of the card when in the older rosetta copy we have the number the name of the card but we don't have the elemental or hebrew reference although the book Book of Sushat provides that for you. Two black borders versus more creamy borders. Once again, the bags, holographic bags. And the borderless. Magician cards. The Magus, Magus, Magus. I love both Empresses, but Rosetta Empress is one of my favorite Empresses in Tarot. So adjustment is, of course, it's a fourth justice card. Rosetta Hermit is again one of my favorites. Last, we have for strength. And in Tabula Mundi, uh, the, my deck came with another one, 
I guess you can probably uh, choose which last cards you prefer. Babylon, but I really love the last cards again in, in Rosetta. I just love the art style in, uh, in Rosetta. I just soft them. But the coloration of the Bulamundia is just stunning. hard to choose between those two star cards isn't it I love those blues eh? now we move into the suits and I did sort of um, once we move into the suits I did sort them um, in um, in accordance with the book of Sushad by Mel Melin. This last card here of the Mages the Universe. So we'll begin with the suit of wands. This is striking, eh? it's a thought based deck of course we have those keywords same on both decks To love the colors of Six of Wands and Tabula Mundi. So beautiful. That's the card that we pulled, uh, pulled during my Friday live. Six of Wands, victory, success. our court cards are in names so for pages in fourth lineage we have princesses for the uh, knights we have princess queen remains queen what I do love about in Tabula Mundi it has the elemental reference of water or fire and for kings, we have knights in Thoth. Next one is the suit of cups. And if you like those dags by Mel Melin, there is a newer one. I think she has just published or is about to release. And um, the podcast fortune's wheelhouse is um is another good resource that i've been listening and enjoying
Significator. I love them both. Queen of Cups, Water of Water. Oh, I do love those references in Tabula Mundi though. Suit of Swords. And now we're going to have a look, uh, just comparing the mages only, just to give you an idea of the difference of the contrast with the papyrus borders or black borders of your original Rosetta, which you can get in mini or still in, the, in its original size. I also wanted to mention, if you decide to go with the papyrus edition, you will also get an extra reference card that has the hieroglyphs and corresponding English letter, along with um, the uh, hieroglyphs for the sun, moon, knights, prince, princess, queen, death and the uh, elements so you will get that double-sided reference card and also if you like your titles for thoughts to be written in the English language with papyrus edition you're not, you're not going to get it because you're getting that little uh, extra card to decipher that this is full so you just read those characters and now uh, let's have a look at the majors only and because they're different sizes i just thought i will do a, a walk through or side by side majors only of two rosetta decks that i have so the original size and papyrus and that mini one that you've just seen so i'll just try to uh, make them a little bit more even in size so you can see the contrast is rather different i i really love both i can't really choose whether I prefer that original that I aged in black or the um, the papyrus. I do love though, um, as I mentioned, uh, having Egyptian hieroglyphs for the title of the card. high priestess a lot so once again just to show you of course the backs are borderless of 
think the Empress is the coloration. I prefer the Papyrus edition for the artwork to shine through. But as I mentioned, you may prefer to have titles in your cards. Uh, I mean, you have a titles here, but you have to use that extra sheet to decipher the title unless you're familiar with the cards or Egyptian alphabet. Hieroglyphic alphabet, that is. last card again I think with those two I prefer the papyrus edition So yeah, there we have it, the side-by-side uh, -side of two Rosetta decks, side-by-side -side of a pocket Tabula Mundi and a regional pocket Rosetta Terra by Mel Milin. I'm so curious to know whether you prefer one to the other. I personally do prefer Rosetta, maybe because it's more, kind of seems a bit more hand-drawn to me, and maybe because it was my first deck by Mel Milin. But both decks are just absolutely beautiful. I think the books that I mentioned in the beginning of the video are just wonderful. So once again, please let me know in the comments below which of those two you prefer, whether you have one or the other. Would you prefer Papyrus Edition or the Blackboard at once? I'm so curious to know what you think of those two beautiful decks. Thank you so much for watching this video. Until next time, namaste.